Since 12 years, I have the pleasure to moderate the Translog Connect Congress in wonderful Budapest and also giving a keynote to new supply chain management topics. This video gives you the most important insights from the talks and discussions from the first day about the road to zero emission in supply chains. This fantastic conference with more than 400 participants from 25 countries. The conference takes place in this wonderful Marriott Hotel. All rooms have a view to Buda, the castle district of Budapest. This photo I took from my room in the night. The opening keynote was held by my old friend Stefan Putzlocher, Head of Global Warehouse and Facility Planning at Global Services and Parts from Mercedes-Benz. His presentation was about converting global warehouses to zero emissions. He not only showed the impressive results, but also talked about the challenges. And a lot of things have happened. So now we have not only a plan, we have a strategy and we have a clear roadmap. And this is what you see here. Uh, summing up, do the, do the projects uh, and do them earlier. First, our approach is to avoid, to use energy to the best extent, and then what you use, produ produce the maximum on your own. We focus definitely on expanding the renewable energies to the maximum amount. The second presentation on sustainable issues was given by Benedict Kisch, Head of Business Development for Contract Logistics Central Eastern Europe, Siva Logistics. And he gave us a fantastic case study presentation of sustainable operations in contract logistics. Now we can make uh, a warehouse operation uh, sustainable as much as possible. Benedict showed the key sustainable achievements of SIVA, demonstrated how people are important for sustainability and innovation, which they foster by the Z-Box. This incubation house has a mission, drive productivity, change to a sustainable solution, or find a way for the future, uh, work of, uh, future of work. Then he presented a case study which shows how SIVA helped a customer on the road to zero emission. What we implemented a few years ago. We implemented in Poland and Eastern Europe. These guys uh, came to us uh, with a request we need to redesign our supply chain, but it must be green. We are 20 something years year old, uh, young generation. We want to have uh, the planet. And we installed as much possible green solution what was, uh, what was possible. Today, if I need to say something what I'm proud of, is that this building with the current solution, what we built in, saving 8,000 tons of CO2 emission. How we could achieve it? First of all, because we found a, a, a local supplier to have a green energy, comes from uh, sun, water, and, uh, and wind uh, sources, but the location itself was extremely good. So how we try to position the building is to have as much natural light as much possible to the, to the offices, not to have a light. Of course, we installed all the fantastic stuff like uh, PV, but we have all the uh, heating pumps. So, but this is still the asset. And as I spoke in the beginning about the knowledge rollout, training, training, education. In this building, we have more than 40 trainers training sustainability every quarter to the people because we all believe that the greenest energy is the one what you never consume. The greenest one what you never use. So that just don't, uh, don't forget this one. Of course, there was an interesting discussion after the presentation. 
After a fantastic first day full of new insights, we had the chance to visit the lovely Christmas market of Budapest, which you see here. Another important topic of the conference was artificial intelligence. We had fantastic presentations and discussions, but this I will show you in another video.